Hi everyone, welcome back to the another video of Jira's Academy. So guys, in our previous video we have seen the Einstein's general theory of relativity. In that particular theory we have learned that this particular time is relative. The time changes as we go into space, as we move into the space. As the moving object's speed increases, for that particular object time becomes slower. As that particular moving body uh, like reaches the speed of the light and then in that particular scenario the time for that particular body gets stopped We are uh, in that particular scenario. We have uh, learned about time dilation and space contraction length contraction and the Infinite mass gain occurs in that particular scenario. So guys over here in this particular video We are going to learn the another scenario that is nothing but the twin paradox which occurs due to time dilation so what is the exact reason behind the twin paradox and what is the exact scenario behind the twin paradox we are going to learn over here in this particular video so guys if you are new over here on my education channel in Genius academy kindly subscribe it and please press the bell icon so whenever i upload a new educational informative video you will get instant notification so guys without wasting any time let's begin with our today's topic that is something about the twin paradox Suppose there are two brothers, the first brother remains on the earth and the second brother moves into the space. Well, this particular second brother moves to the planet X as we have seen in our previous videos. So this particular planet X is like four light years away from the earth and second brother, like if we rename this brother, a brother who remains over here on the earth, we just name it as a earth twin and a brother who moves into the space we rename it as a space twin so space twin moves into the space towards planet x with the speed of uh, like with the 80 percent speed of light let's say when the space twin moves into the space it will take around five years to reach at the particular planet x and five years to come back so as per the earth twin the space twin like uh, spends 10 years into the space and when that particular space twin like uh, moves into uh, moves into the space towards the planet x the due to the phenomenon of the length contraction and the time dilation the actual distance or actual number of years spent by the space twin as per his clock is around 6 years so as per the time as per the clock of the earth twin he spends 10 years and as per the clock of the space twin he spends 6 years so this particular difference in the time occurs over here so when that particular space twin like uh, come to the earth and he will observe that this particular earth twin is four years older than the space twin the age of the earth twin will be increases by the 10 years and the age of the space twin will increases only by six years so that happens due to the phenomenon of the length contraction and time dilation over here. So for uh, this particular space twin, while while moving into the space, he will feel that his body, his particular spaceship is at the rest and the uh, earth is rotating or else earth is into the motion. So due to this particular, uh, so due to this reason, like he can say that the time of the earth twin, the time for the earth twin like remains slow and earth twin like he will experience that his particular body is at rest and the like the space twin spaceship is moving into the space so that so he, he will observe the time for the space twin is getting slower so over here the both of the brothers will observe the same scenario the growth of the brothers will think that their respective watches are getting slow their respective time is getting slow so over here the paradox occurs and this particular paradox can be called as the twin paradox so this particular twin paradox is not an actual paradox as per the theory of relativity it is just like this particular theory of relativity can be you know can be very easily understood by using this particular twin paradox but it is not like this like suppose uh, as per the earth twin the space twin spends 10 years into the space so let's take one example over here after one year passed like uh, this earth twin decided to send a message to the space twin 
So this particular uh, message will travel at the speed of light, regardless of whether you are into the space or on Earth. Basically, the speed of the light will always remain constant. So this particular message will travel at the speed of light. So the first message will be sent after one year from the Earth twin towards the space twin, and this particular space twin is in the journey of getting towards the planet X. So this particular space twin receives. this particular message after 4 years so that happens due to the time dilation and on the second message after the 2 years after 2 years the earth twin also sends again different message so that particular message will reach towards that particular space twin on his return journey when that particular space twin Like he is reached to the planet X, and then he again come back to the it's uh, towards the Earth. Uh, this this particular second message will reach towards the space twin at on his return journey towards Earth. So after that, after one year, he will send the messages. But on his return journey, he will get messages before time. Because he is also there in, on the return journey itself, so the most of the messages sent by that particular Earth twin will be received from this particular space twin on his return journey. So during the return trip of the space twin, he will experience that age of the Earth twin will be rapidly going on his return journey than his forward journey towards planet X. During his particular forward journey. During his forward journey toward planet X, he noticed that the age of the Earth twin is growing very slowly. But when the uh, when the space twin comes towards the Earth, he will notice that the age of his Earth twin will move will increases very rapidly. So that occurs just because of the length contraction. Like when this particular space twin is into the motion. so during the length contraction he will observe this age of the earth twin i is increasing rapidly so also over here the his 10 years of the earth twin will be equivalent to 6 years of the space twin so guys we can plot a graph over here from this particular example like time will be on the x axis whereas the years that is 10 years of the span will be on the y axis over here the distance like let's say this particular space twin is moving towards the planet x over here this particular dot is the planet x and he is on the return journey also so if we plot the graph as per the during his particular during this particular uh, earth twin is texting to the space twin so in that particular scenario we can plot this particular graph which represents that the space twin will experience the rapidly growing earth twin in his return journey on the other hand let's take one another example the time spent by the space twin into the space will be around 6 years and during this particular 6 years he sends out the messages after one each year to the earth twin due to the phenomenon of the length contraction after each year he will send a message to the earth twin the earth twin will receive that particular message after 2 years forward journey towards the planet x the earth twin will observe that this particular space twin will aging very much slower over here so the 95% of the 10 years like will be covered by this particular uh, forward journey towards the planet x and on the upon the return journey the messages sent by the space twin towards the earth twin will be received in a shorter time period so during this particular 5% of the total uh, 10 years like he will observe the more increase in the age like the, the in during that particular uh, span the the age of the space twin will increase will rise tremendously and we can get over here this particular graph so this particular effect during the messages sent from the earth twin towards the space twin and the space twin towards the earth twin this particular uh, effect can be called as the relativistic doppler shift 
So guys, I hope you understood this particular phenomenon of the twin paradox and the relativistic Doppler shift. So I hope you like my video. If you having any doubts, any queries, please leave a comment. And also guys, please do subscribe to my education channel, Ingenious Academy. Also guys, do follow me on Facebook and also on Instagram as well. Cause uh, on Instagram, like I do post some sort of the informative content related to my videos and my future plans basically so guys just uh, do follow me on facebook as well as instagram so thank you so much guys for watching this education video please do subscribe to my education channel engineers academy